Yes, I. Now say them wanna be a baller, shot caller. Say them want the rims and the spoiler, and the hot thing and kit punk, everything. See, in vanity, lifestyle. So some people sell out them own skill sets, talents, and everything to go, you know, deal in a certain things. We make money right now. What of things? A long time this ago, and now we are talking about this Jamaican national sentenced to 32 years in prison for a drug trafficking, identity fraud. And money laundering offences. Now people, this is a warning to the youth them again. All the youth them out there in the streets who are hustle. All the people them who are struggling and you look for a way out. Seeing, remember so sometimes the way where you might think is out, is just another way in to the early grave. Or a prison sentence where you might not even get out till you are old man. Which is like a death sentence anyway. Because if you get a 50 year right now as a 30 year old. <laughs> you pretty much come out when you're 70 or 80 or whatever. If you come out early, you're still old when you come out. That means your whole life is wasted. And what people need to learn about life now, the value of life is not based upon what you have, but you're free them to operate, your freeness to operate within the earth. If you get a wife, if you have a family, if you have beautiful children, if you, if you plant two tree, if you go to work and make some money, anything you do can be pleasurable. In this life as long as you're free and you, you can share your experience with a loved one or a partner you have your wife you have your children now these um things there is things of destruction death and destruction cocaine heroin fentanyl all these drugs seeing people this we have to raise with the youth continually because here what happened now this world these things are out there the devil is right out there it's a man operate and some of us don't know any better because we are go out there in the world and go, go, go mingle with these things and accept these things as if it's a normal thing. And, oh, it's just here in the earth. This is just something else, you know. It's the white girl and we, we mess with it and we make money from it. And some people snort it in their nose. Some people smoke it. People turn it into crack. People, these are demonic works on the earth. Works of satanic, I mean, I tell you, evil. Because anytime people get chemicals like this in their body and get addicted to them, a lot of time people can OD, their brain shut down, heart shut down, heart attacks, right there, seen on the spot. That's what OD, look what an OD does to anybody. Anybody can look it up and see what overdose, drug overdose do to you. Drugs shut down your brain, shut down the air circulation in your body because you get um, start hyperventilating. All type of different things it do to you, destroying and rotting in your brain, internally rotting in different parts of you. See me I say? All right, breaking down your cell structure and all that stuff, seeing? So these are poisons. So all the youth them now want to get involved in this drug game and running. You know, them want to be bad man and top man and they want to be a top man. Saying big problem. Big, big problem. Long time. And Jamaica has fell victim to this culture of promoting negativity. Bad manism, gun manism, drugs man, top man, they call them. Saying. No disrespect to anybody who they have any different insight on this, but me can tell you this. The street life and this glorification of all this bad man thing one you know, run with and think that it's cool. It's not. Because life is worth more than the gold and the vanity and the silver on the chase, right? Life have more value than all them vanity and things one want put around it. All them little gun they want to give energy and make the gun them look like them so special. Them gun they are nothing. All them little tie they want to give power to protect people's life. Those tools are just tools. It's the wickedness now in the heart and low thinking, low mind, low self-esteem, low self-value will make people can succumb to the bow down. Because I know there's a whole lot of money out there now. Everybody wants to have money, especially living in this matrix system. But we can do it together in a uni unified way upon good, doing good things and make tons of money. Same. But what I miss the culture is being robbed. Our culture has been robbed from us by pagan and pagan bring in all type of different things that implement them way. Sending gun and money into the country and corruption and drugs. So now enough people fall under that spell a long time ago where they just want to be involved in the drug business. Them just want because fast money. They want to make the money fast. So they can have all these fancy things and nice things. I get it. But here we're wrong now and here we're across many lives. Many people die in this business right here, this drugs thing. A top man. Enough done. Get them head knock off. Now, Mr. O'Neill Wilkes is what this story is about right now, people. And Mr. O'Neill Wilkes is a Jamaican. Enough people don't know about him. 
enough people in Jamaica don't have a clue. This man right here was running the world, Connecticut. This is what the story is about, people. We just want to give a warning out to all the youths them out there. Whether you be in America, Canada, or Jamaica, or wherever, UK. Certain things is just not worth it, bro. Use your talent and your skill to achieve your goals, my bro. Don't waste your time in them streets trying to be no big top drug kingpin. Because at the end of the day, it don't end well for you or your family members or your loved ones and people that really care for you. It's ugly. So this is what happened now. Hartford, a man from Jamaica who supplied Bridgeport drug dealers with narcotics, has been sentenced to more than 30 years, 32 to be exact. Officials them say O'Neill Wilkes, 45 now, was sentenced in federal court in Hartford on Thursday, saying to 32 years in prison for narcotics trafficking, passport fraud, identity fraud, and money laundering offenses. According to the release from the U.S. Attorney, District of Connecticut, Connecticut Office in November 2018, the U.S. Attorney Office said the FBI's Bridgeport Safe Street Task Force arrested several individuals, including one bridging one named Louis McDowell, who was distributing large quantities of heroin, fentanyl, and crack cocaine in and around Bridgeport. This is Louis, you know, so Louis did that dis dual for distribution. The U.S. Attorney's Office said investigation determined Matt Dowell was being supplied with the heroin, fentanyl, and cocaine by Wilkes, who was using a false identity and living in California. They said Wilkes was deported from U.S. in Jamaica, to Jamaica, 2014, and deported him. Then he illegally returned to the U.S. Saying, so he man just built up some fake ID in a Jamaica arm, um, reached back a foreign with the fake ID fam. Saying, dangerous man. Yeah, man, them man, they are real top man. Now, watch you know. The U.S. Attorney's Office said Wills used stolen identification in information of an individual to apply for and receive a Florida driver license in 2015 and a U.S. passport in 2016. So, Wilkes used that fraudulent passport to travel overseas. He said he go to Japan, Thailand, Indonesia, all both on the fake, fake um, passports. See? So, in 2019, the U.S. Attorney Office said Wilkes was stopped by law enforcement in California while driving with his stolen ID and was found with 5 kilograms of cocaine in her car. Authorities investigated the drug trafficking activity and said he sent a package and it was seized and found to contain 6 kilograms of cocaine and it was being made from California to Connecticut so he did get catch up in a different different charges and this time get bite see because this is how the game go people you're in the game and you think it's sweet the money fast you have you know sometimes they give you a rope sometimes the feds them all know about the, the drugs dealing early you know but what them do them get drug dealers rope for hang themselves. So they make you go on and go on and go on. And you think say everything, Chris. You think say nobody no notice what I go on. And years you operate. And they might watch it the whole time. Some people get away with the, the real man now. When they say top top man, you have some man who are real senator. And we are gonna say it like that. The man they are senator. Them now get catch because them in the government high level. Them not even touch the product, have nothing to do with it, see with it. Them just have a distribution network where them either provide money or fund it. So this is how these things go, people. <coughs> Excuse me. So the U.S. Attorney Office said Wills was arrested on August 5, 2019. And a court authorized search of two homes and a vehicle connected to him revealed about 4 kilograms of fentanyl. Exalazine. Items used to process and package narcotics. False identifications and more than $160,000 in cash. $160,000 in cash. Yeah, man. So on December 22nd, 2021, the U.S. Attorney's Office said a jury found Wilkes guilty of one count of conspiracy to distribute and to possess with intent to distribute one kilogram or more of heroin, five kilograms or more of cocaine, and 400 grams or more of fentanyl. One count of making a false statement in a passport application one count of aggravated identity theft and one count of conspiracy to commit money laundering. It said he has been detained since his arrest. So you see people, message to the youths out there. It not worth it, bro. That's what, it, it, even if you did get away fear and whatever, it's still not worth it. You know why? Because of the destruction of people's lives. When they deal with certain drugs like fentanyl. 
that are the worst one of all of them, seeing? And we know all of them bad. Heroin, terrible. Enough people lose them life and lose them family, lose everything them own to heroin and cocaine and crack. See? And then you yeah, talk about fentanyl where they kill people dead. As soon as them start dead overnight. See enough people dead off of fentanyl just like that. No warnings. Fentanyl don't give the body no warnings. The fentanyl don't even OD people. It just kill them. Bam. So yeah, man. This right here is a is a thing for making you know people. Youths don't get don't get um enticed by that lifestyle of fanciness and what if our money will come fast from being a drug dealer or what them call a top man, top drugs man. It's not worth it. I'm telling you that. It's just not worth it. That's a fact. And that's, you know, that's my reasoning for the day. I don't think I would like to elaborate anymore. All I can tell you is this. Use your skills and talents that you're blessed with. You're given these things. Use your skills and talents that you were given by the Almighty Creator to be the greatest you can be on this planet and set your legacy so your family will remember you in greatness. See? And your greatness will live on in them and inspire them to be great. Inspiration. Be an inspiration to your family, kids, grandkids, everybody by doing what you're, 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 you're given, using the given. See? Don't go... Chasing these fakeness and all this foolishness where them are run down out here. Babylon them thing. See me? I'm going to put all these foolishness in front of you for blind you. And take away your real life and real wealth. And give you emptiness, which is a prison sentence. An early death. Emptiness. Take you away from your beautiful children. And take you away from your family. Put you in a grung or in a hole. No. Don't go for it. It's a trick. It's Satan them. A devil them. I try to trick you with all these things. Enough man could have tell you now if them didn't know, them, didn't, them would have known. But now them sit down and think about it from a realistic standpoint. You have to be in the position to know what I'm saying to you. That's why it's so hard to understand sometimes. It's like you got to lose it first. Go through it, get it all, and then you lose it all. Then you realize, oh shit, it was never worth it. I better me just settle myself, do my thing with my skills and talents, and just live a clean, free, happy life. That's much more worth, I'm telling you. All right? Message. Love and respect to each and everyone out there. It's G-Terra, you know, you're rocking with G-Terra, reasoning with G-Terra. No school in our way out, you see me? Yeah, man, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Please like the video and drop your feedback. So I'll send this one to the children. Talk to your youths about these things. Let them know what's going on out here, you know. It's just not worth it. Stay out of them streets with them drugs and all that foolishness. That thing is, a, that, that is going to be a waste of your life, waste of your time. Use your skills you were given and your talents. Have a lovely day, people. Soon upon the next reasoning. Big up. No schooling. Hey, peoples, if you like this video, definitely check out the next video. See you? You don't know. Nice.